two Skagit, the Skagit Bridge collapse isn't the first time a bridge in Washington State has fallen. Not even close. In fact, as King 5's Linda Byron reports, we have a history of odd and rather spectacular bridge disasters going back decades. Perhaps the most spectacular bridge collapse in U.S. history happened here in western Washington. In November 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge disintegrated during a windstorm. Nicknamed Galloping Gertie, it's still taught as a classic physics lesson in bad design and engineering. In 1979, it was a February storm bearing 100 mile an hour winds that doomed the western half of the Hood Canal Bridge. Replacement took three years. Seattle's most famous bridge disaster happened in November 1990, a victim of severe storms and a rushed renovation project. The 50-year-old structure, the world's first floating bridge, broke apart and sank into Lake Washington, taking huge construction machines with it. Oh yeah, you could hear the uh, cables snapping. Uh, you could hear the bolts break into and the concrete cracking. An investigation later determined the contractor had cut holes in the sides of the pontoons but failed to cover them before a week of high winds and heavy rains. The 520 Evergreen Point floating bridge didn't sink, but it was severely damaged in 2000 after a tugboat missed its turn to the locks and slammed a barge into a bridge support column. Turns out the tugboat captain had fallen asleep. And now another Washington Bridge disaster. The Skagit River Bridge is once again making headlines around the world and snarling traffic here at home. The lessons from this one still to be determined. Linda Byron, King 5 News.